Let's see how many. One, two, three, four pairs of socks, two hats, six whips with me on a trip that at the most is probably gonna be three weeks, three and a half weeks. Hi, welcome to Capital K Knitting. My name is Bethany and I am in a different location this time. I am in a flourishing place in Marion, Indiana. It's this beautiful place um, meant to uh, serve people who need a space to be, um, whether they are, uh, yeah, what, what, for whatever reason they need to, a space. And um, I'm here with my kids. They're sleeping in the other room. They're adorable. They're so, oh, pulling at my heartstrings this evening. Um, for some of you who've been following the Vlogmas, videos you may have noticed those stopped kind of abruptly um and then there's a reason for that uh we made a surprise trip to indiana and i wish it were just for christmas sake um but it is because we lost my husband's father in a car accident um and so we are here in order to help our family um, grieve and also uh, take care of details uh, surrounding his death. So um, not happy stuff happening. Um, and we will be spending Christmas with our family, which is... Um, Honestly, it, I know a lot of people, when there's a death in the family, they'll say things like, oh, I'm so glad to see you, but I wish I were seeing you under different circumstances or things like that. And I've, I've just really come to the place of thinking, you know, this is, this is really, really sad. I'm so glad you're here. And um, so, yeah. So I have been thinking about the quote from Elizabeth Zimmerman about how properly practiced knitting is helpful I think to the troubled spirit and it's not unhelpful to the untroubled spirit also something like that and um yeah I I feel that way very much that when I am experiencing joy and happiness that knitting is a joy and when I'm not uh, knitting is a comfort and so I brought a lot of knitting on this trip I'm not sure when we're headed back home um, so I wanted to make sure that I didn't feel like I needed to buy any more yarn or um, or anything to have a project going because I already had a bunch of projects going at home so I brought a whole duffel bag full of project bags um, and I've just been keeping it in the van so that as I finish things, I can pull out another thing and finish that. So, um, I am just gonna seamlessly start a podcast format again. Um, Vlogmas was fun and, um, I don't know if I'll do it again next year, but um, but it was fun this year and um, it, it ran its course for me and um, so yeah so I'm just gonna go into the podcast format and uh, love that so I am wearing my shawlography I finished it I'm not gonna go into detail around it because I did a whole nother video about it so if you want to check that out uh, it's actually a video about just clue four I did a video about each clue because I've never done anything like this before I love it so much honestly it's beyond how it even looks right now like it I like it beyond how it looks and so and it's been so nice to have something 
wool to wrap around my shoulders um, on this trip. It, it's just been really nice. I also have my one pair of socks with me. Okay, sorry, one of my kids was talking in their sleep and so I thought they were up. But um, yeah, so check out the shawlography video if you're interested in that construction. It was really fun and I did techniques I've never done before. I felt like, feel like I grew a lot during the knitting process. So that's my FO though for this time. And I brought a lot of whips with me. Um, and I'm happy that, yeah, I'm happy that I brought them. I also brought um, some yarn with me uh, just in case I wanna cast on something else, but we'll see. Um, okay. So I'm just going to show you what I brought with me on my trip. Um, I brought my interchangeable needles. I brought a ton of notions and DPNs and uh, there's a pencil and pen in there too. Um, and I brought um, some whips. So First is one of the Christmas gifts I'm knitting because of the circumstances that we are in here in Indiana. It actually means that I'm going to be seeing my sister-in-law and if these are done on time, we'll be able to gift these to her. She actually had to open the gift that we shipped to her before she flew out here because she wouldn't have been able to bring it with her. So anyway, um, these are the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Socks. The pattern is by Kay Jones. This is the front pattern there. I just did a really short leg because my brother-in-law said that she doesn't like it when things go up high on her leg. So I just did one repeat of the pattern after the cuff and then went straight into the heel flap and gusset. On, in the pattern, there's a different heel pattern there. I did an eye of partridge heel. It's hard to see with this dark yarn and honestly, the lighting here, I'm trying to see if maybe I can fix it. Maybe, 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 there we go. Okay, so you can kind of see the, the um, eye of partridge heel. At one point, I messed up one of the rows and so you can see it's just like a little bit of a slip stitch heel right there <laughs> but um then we've got our heel turn and our foot of course is just the pattern is just on the top i love the way this yarn looks even just in stock knit i might knit myself a pair of vanilla socks with this yarn and then i've got a contrasting heel and toe going on i am almost done with this toe i'm probably I think I'm over halfway done with the toe just because of the way the rounds go, you know. Um, I have this other sock. The gusset decreases are done. So I just have my foot to, my foot and toe to knit, which of course is just, you know, going around and around. Now her foot is um, nine and a half inches long. And so I am knitting the 64 stitch count circumference, but I'm gonna be doing a nine inch length um, because I want that half inch of positive, or sorry, negative ease. So this is just at three inches here, the, the foot. I love this sock ruler from the crazy sock lady. So I need it to be down here at seven inches before I start the toe, um, which looks like a long way on this ruler, but it actually isn't bad. Uh, it'll be, I, I measured it as I was going on this one and the little, this here, one pattern is about a half inch. So I can kind of keep track of how far I need to go with how many repeats I've done. The yarn is, uh, the light blue here is 
the colorway Summer Skin by Sweet Georgia in the Tough Love sock base. So you can see that one, it's really fun. It's this great tonal. There's even like some lighter parts that look almost white with it. And then the darker blue, it's really pretty. And it's a knitted wit colorway called Buckle My Shoes. And I really like the way they look together. They look very Cinderella-y. Cinderella's one of her favorites. And um, there aren't, uh, she she and my brother-in-law haven't been married for very long. Um, but, and so there aren't a ton of things that I know about her preferences and things, but there are the few things that I do know I've been trying to implement into her gift for uh, Christmas and so liking Cinderella is one of the things I know about her so I actually had to order some sock blockers um, online to be sent to me here because I forgot to bring any sock blockers with me even though I have I'm knitting socks here um, but that's okay I, I can use another pair of sock blockers that's great the I brought my pumpkin spice sock to work on. I haven't done, I don't think I've done any more of it since I chatted with you guys last time. It's still in the same place, but I brought it just in case I need another sock to work on. Of course, I have this first one here and I've worn it a few times so the, the, um, the oranges are a little less vibrant since I've washed them pretty roughly. A couple of times I've washed that one. Yeah. So anyway, um, there's that. I, I have those socks with me and I also have um, my mom's Christmas socks. I'm going to be putting duplicate stitch. I'm going to put peace and love on the toes. For as long as I can remember, my mom has always asked for peace, love and socks for Christmas. And um, so this year I thought since I am, I'm a knitter now, um, I thought it would be fun to give her socks that say peace and love on the toes. I still haven't figured out exactly how to do that. Still working on um, the graph for that, but I, I don't think it'll take very long once I'm able to sit down and do it. I really like this yarn. This is Patton's Croy in Flax, the contrast heel and toe are and then this is happy feet yarn the colorway I don't remember the colorway name and I think maybe the ball band was lost in process because I got these socks cranked I just I had her um her, her name on Etsy is called the yarn farm but it's ph farm so it's the yarn farm like pharmacy kind of fun um I had her hold back 20 grams of the yarn so I did the cuffs in that yarn and I did the heels and toes in a separate yarn so I actually have more um of the sock crank and I brought it with me because I'd actually like to do a pair of socks for myself and obviously there's enough there for that so um so I'm gonna do that while I'm here, I think. I think it'll be nice to have another pair of socks. I only have one for myself and um, one pair for myself, even though I've knit a ton of socks this year. Uh, and so it'd be nice to just be able to put on some heels and toes and have another pair of socks. Um, yeah, because this pair that I did for my mom took a couple of afternoons it was it was not hard at all so there's that too I also brought my two muscle birds Ooh, I'm on this like cool chair but I also don't want to fall down so <laughs> it's one of those ergonomic ones that like you can kneel on or you can sit on and stuff. but I don't want to fall off it um this is the one that is the least far along. This one is the one for my friend for Christmas. Um, it is being held together with a 
brighter red Surrey alpaca. Um, the first Musselberg I knit, I did with, I held with a Surrey alpaca on the inside and it just made it so comfy. I, I love it. So I'm doing that with both of my Musselbergs that I'm knitting now again. The first one I sent to my sister because it turned out too big and she has a bigger head than me. So thought that would work out. Um, I have black for the outside. I honestly don't remember. I think that's Patton's Croy and Carbon, but I honestly don't remember. And I don't have a ball band for that. So it's not there. Um, but the, I, and I also have a couple of, um, a couple of, I guess balls are these fluffs. I have a couple of fluffs of alpaca in different colors because I have little things. I was contemplating making some stripes with it. This is a scout yarn in the colorway mulberry. Um, I got this from the yarn store called Hank in Cincinnati. It's a really nice store. They organize everything by yarn weight. And so that was kind of cool just to be able to like walk around and know what was going on with that. That was that was really nice. So I haven't worked on that very much. It's for my friend for Christmas, but I'm not gonna see her until after Christmas. And so I'll probably work on it a lot on the drive home. Um, because honestly, I, I wanna finish my own muscle bark first because I keep walking around with my ears being cold and it's really irritating me. So, um, the last whip that I have with me is my muscle bird and I've gotten pretty far on it now. Um, this is it. And you can kind of see the line of where the halfway point is there. Obviously I'm not done yet. I am knitting it long as long as the pattern states this time. I didn't do that the last time it wasn't long enough for it to be folded over and cover my ears with the last one. I ran out of yarn before I even finished the hat. And so on the last, I don't know, five or six rows, I just put a different yarn in that was a similar color to one of the stripes I was using with it. And that worked out really well. Uh, but this one, I do have enough yarn to to knit it to the length that it should be for the pattern. And I think I would like a double brim um, or even a slouchy option if I want. I'm holding up for the inside. You can see it's real fuzzy. And then like this heathered action is a lot more prominent on this side. And that's going to be the outside and this is the inside. So on the inside, I held one strand of this. It is NUA Sport. Let's see. Oh, by Stolen Stitches in NUA Sport. Um, it's 60% merino, 20% yak, and 20% linen. I've not worked with yak before knitting this hat, and I've just really, really liked it a lot. Um, so I held one strand of that yarn and with a strand of alpaca for the Surrey alpaca. Uh, I'm not sure which colorway it was. I don't think I have that in here anymore, but it's the dark green one <laughs> in the Cumulus Surrey alpaca. And then for the outside, I'm just holding this double. So I realized that that is a whole different, you can tell really well, like when I'm pulling the stitches apart, that on this part, it's just much thicker. It's a much thicker, um, yeah. Because I'm, because this is obviously thicker than holding just one of these and the Surrey alpaca strand together. But I did that on purpose because the last one that I knit it was a, a DK weight, um, but I didn't necessarily like the fabric 
that was made with this size needle. These are, I believe, yeah, four millimeter needles. They're a US six or four millimeter needles. Oh, I realized I didn't, I'm also doing the other muscle bergam four millimeter needles on my pumpkin spice socks. I'm doing those on 2.5 millimeter needles and then the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo socks I'm doing on a 2.25 millimeter needle and that is the suggested needle size for that sock. Um, I usually do my socks in 2.5 but it was suggested for that needle size and I had just gotten my Chow Boo shorties so I thought what the hey let's do the suggested needle size and it's been great it's been fine. So I'm glad I am knitting a, a thicker fabric for the outside of this hat. The other one was just looser um, as it was stretching over my head and it, yeah. So not only will this hopefully be the correct size for me, um, also I think it will be even warmer and comfier than the one before, which is fantastic. I have um, yarn and patterns set out for January for two sweaters that I want to cast on in January. I don't know if I will be back home. I don't think I will be back home by the first of the year. And so I probably won't be able to, um, probably won't be able to cast those on at the beginning of the year. That's okay. Um, I, my whole goal was just to cast them on in January and um, make some progress basically. I brought um, some yarn with me just in case um, I wanted to do something with it. I brought um, this, you know, sock crank and then I brought the leftover yarn and the other and, and the flax again um, because I want to use as much of this as I can but if I run it like if I'm you know at the toe and I have hardly any left I'll just do the toe with actually I might do the heels last because I think I would like that better so I'll probably do that. I'll probably do the cuffs and then the toes and then cut in the heels. Um, I do a true afterthought heel, um, even when I'm even when I'm hand knitting my socks. Um, obviously, with this, you have to do a true afterthought heel. There's no forethought heel stuff going on here, and honestly, I like it better that way because um, with K, the crazy sock ladies. Um, afterthought heel tutorial she has you leave um, a couple of stitches on each side as you're yeah it's hard to explain but definitely f look in the description box I'll have a link to her tutorial below I really like it because there's no holes no nothing on the sides and that's really nice um, I also brought some yarn with me to gift to my sister. She's a knitter and her birthday was um, on the 18th and I thought it would be lovely to gift her some yarn. So um, one of the skeins that I received from Knitting Nakabi, I'm going to be giving to her. I think she would just really love it. I don't think she's had the opportunity to work with non-superwash before and so something is tickling me um so I think she would really like that and then I also got um a skein of crazy no two are alike yarn um it's by Stonehenge Fiber Mill and it is kind of like a more budget friendly version of Spin Cycle so I thought she would like those especially since she is into spinning yarn herself um yeah, I thought she would appreciate this one quite a bit. I have one last whip that I'm working on and I'm not necessarily working on it all the time, um, but I have this great idea for a sock recipe in my head. I've been thinking about how I use, how I wear socks and how, and my sister and I had a discussion about like, oh yeah, I think 
you know, it would be better this way. I think it would be better this way. And she's not a knitter, but I've knit her a pair of socks and was just asking for her feedback for the next pair that I would knit her because she's just really knit worthy and awesome. And yeah, anyway, um, so we were talking about how like the next time improvements that could be made and stuff for a fit and, um, and just wear. And so I am knitting a sock that I'm going to be releasing as soon as I get the um yeah the pattern done I'm really excited about it this is also knitting Nikabi yarn it is I think without a ball band I don't remember what the name of the colorway but um she does all non superwash yarns and she dyes them naturally and so this is just i like this so much this orangey salmon pink thing going on here i really like that and this is a fingering weight yarn um and i've been wanting to knit a pair of socks with no nylon and um and also wanted to knit a pair of non superwash socks because I have laminate floors in the house that we have on base. Um, there are laminate floors and I slip and slide in my superwash socks all over the place. And I was thinking for a while that it was because of the nylon in the socks because what I used was a 7525, I think. And, um, but I think it's just because the it's super wash and so it's slippery. So anyway, sorry, I'm realizing that I stopped in the middle of a row, in the middle of a round, um, when I stopped knitting this. And so I uh, wanted to get that done. There we go, got that round finished. I'm doing a 60 stitch circumference for myself this time. I noticed that the 64 stitch socks were a little loose and um, maybe it's after I've worn them a couple times or something, but I wanted to try the 60 stitch circumference and see how that worked out for me. So that's the plan for this and I will keep you posted on how that goes. Um, I'm really, really excited about it. I think it, it's going to work for... Um, yeah, I think it I think the design will work for a lot of people. So I hope that I can get these whips actually just done and cleared off the needles um during our trip here. I think I will have quite a bit of an opportunity to knit um because we're just going to be with family and it'll be Christmas time and um, and my family knows that I just sit and knit and talk when it's time to have social time. And so I don't have to feel weird about it or anything, uh, which is really nice. In fact, they are really supportive and just ask me what I'm working on. And, um, a lot of times we'll, uh, ask even like detail questions about it and, uh, yeah. And, uh, every once in a while I'll make a knitting joke about how I should knit that for them and so uh yeah i'm gonna sign off here and i hope to see you again soon i will be knitting just so much <laughs> um it, as i'm trying to be uh as i'm trying to comfort my own brain um while we're here and uh, yeah, so I will see you soon and happy knitting friends.